Hello, Planeswalker. Welcome to One Pack Magic, where we open one pack of magic cards. And my anaconda don't want none unless you got puns, hon. So, Friday night, time for another D&D &D night. Let's see what kind of treasures we get. Got a set booster, so it's gonna be... Should be something cool. We got this guy. Uh, the art card for... Grand Master of Flowers, which I think I actually have the card of. I don't know. Carry me less. It's just pretty. All right, we start with a basic forest. Hooray. And we have the showcase art for the Pixie Guide. A one blue fairy with one three flying and Grant an advantage. If you would roll one or more dice, instead roll that many dice plus one and ignore the lowest level. Lowest roll. Huh. That's pretty cool. Especially for uh, two blue. Set up a good roll deck. Paladin Shield. A one white artifact equipment with flash. Ah. One day I'm going to stop doing that joke, but until then. Uh... When Paladin Shield enters the battlefield, attached to target creature you control. A quick creature gets plus zero plus two. It is a shield. Uh, equip three. Pay three, attached to target creature you control, equip only as a sorcery. So you can like, boom, put it in, they get a shield. But if they die, you can put it on someone else. Speaking of Paladins, we have a devoted Paladin. A four white Orc Knight, four four, and Beacon of Hope. When Devoted Paladin enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain vigilance until end of turn. That's pretty good for five. Uh, Steadfast Paladin. We're not going to have this theme going on again, are we? A one white dwarf knight, two two, and lifelink. Which means damage deals gives you life. Which is something you always want. Trickster's Talisman, a single blue artifact, equipment, and invoke duplicity. Equip creature gets plus one, plus one, and has, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice Trickster's Tal Talisman. If you do, create a token that's a copy of this creature. Equip for two. That's, that's pretty sweet. Lightfoot Rogue. A one black halfling rogue with two one and sneak attack. Whenever Lightfoot Rogue attacks, roll a d20. One through nine, Lightfoot Rogue gains death touch until end of turn. Ten through nineteen, it gets plus one plus zero and gains death touch. Twenty, it gets plus three plus zero and gains first strike and death touch until end of turn. That is a nasty little card. Oh, now we have a Reaper's Talisman. A single black artifact equipment. Whenever equipped creature attacks, it gains death touch until end of turn. Whenever equipped creature attacks alone, defending player loses two life and you gain two life. Ooh. Equip for two. That's pretty nice. Dawnbringer Cleric. A one white human cleric with one three and when Dawnbringer Cleric enters the battlefield, choose one. Cure Wound, you gain 2 life. Dispel Magic, destroy target enchantment. Gentle Repose, exile target card from the graveyard. From a graveyard. Ooh, Ooh he's a big one. Orcus, Prince of Undeath. Okay. Uh, a X2, Black Red, Legendary Demon. That's 5-3. Also, flying and trample. That seems counterproductive, but okay. Flying can't be blocked by non-flying creatures, and trample means... Even if you block it, you're still taking damage. Whenever Orcus, Prince of Undeath, enters the battlefield, choose one. Each opponent, each other creature gets minus X, minus X until they return. You lose X, which X is how much you paid. Return to... Up to X target creature cards with total amount of value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. They gain haste until end of turn. 
I would definitely be doing that second one. <laughs> I'm sorry. First one's all right. I mean, it'd be good to, you know, get a bunch of creatures out of the way. But that second one, pay five, and then you get, like, five creatures. Okay, basically their mana costs have to be under five, but... Ah, uh, Mordekaiden. Uh, four blue, blue, legendary planeswalker. I think we had a planeswalker in the last set. Anyway, he's epic. Uh, he's a mythic. And, yeah, this is just the regular one. Comes in with five loyalty counters. Add two loyalty. Draw two cards, then put a card from your hand at the bottom of your library. Alright, that's pretty cool. Pay, pay two loyalty. Create a blue dog illusion creature token with. This here. This creature's power and toughness is equal is each equal to the number of cards in your hand. Hmm. I think I have a few artifacts where you don't have a hand size, so that would be nasty. Now, speaking of which, pay ten. Exchange your hand and library, then shuffle. You get an emblem that with you have no maximum hand size. So make that doggo a beast. And our foil is Hill Giant Head Groger. Or Gorger. Head Herd Gorger. Sure. Uh, a four green green giant. Seven six. Giant giant. When Hill Giant. Burb. Enters the battlefield, you gain three life. That's not bad. And we have a... Oh! We have a card from the list. Lana War Reborn. Which I think this is... Oh, I don't know. What set is that from? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Anyway. Lana War Reborn. Enters the battlefield tapped. Tap. Add green. Graft one. This land enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you may move a plus one, plus one counter from this land onto it. That's pretty sweet. Alright, so let's see what... See what I would play, what I would use. Not much. It's a set booster, so you don't get as much. I would use this, actually. This is pretty sweet. You know, a plus one, plus one counter, and a land. Yeah, I'd use him. So you're land. I might. I if you well, it's blue. You'd probably get enough. But yeah, I would definitely try to use them. Definitely use that. That might be good for a commander, if I can speak. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's good. You know, two mana. You can you get a one three and you get to you know, mess up something. Yes, I would use that one. I have used this one. It is freaking sweet. It definitely scares your, your opponent if like, oh, yeah, by the way, he's like a 5-1 five, one, five, one, and has Death Touch. That'd be, I'd probably use that one. Uh, yes, anything with lifelink. I do like using lifelink a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty good for the price. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I would definitely, I mean, she's only like a one and a blue, so you could, you know, get, <clears throat> you know, get something that'll trans, you know, change for blue mana, and boom. And, of course, you'd have to use those. Alright, so that is, Leg yeah, Adventures in the Forgotten Realm, Dungeons and Dragons, blah, blah, blah. Um... Halloween is coming up, and I've got something special planned, so definitely can't wait to show you that, and that, that's a bug. Look at that, right there, a little bug. Huh. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Have a magical day.